Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, we'll talk about something that has to do with a question that was on the channel, which is interesting because um, you might not understand the full way that an infection can come to your PC from an unpatched browser. So, as you know, if you follow me for a long time, every uh, month I will, uh, every week, sorry, I will talk about, you know, the Chromium security updates, and uh, which is Google Chrome, which has a weekly updates. And then, of course, I tell you to look at your different Chromium browsers, Brave, Edge, and so on. And the question that was there is, well, you know, why why is it so important? What are the chances of getting, you know, infected or getting uh, some security flaw exploited by hackers? Um, and it has to do with several little things. So first of all, it has to do with how severe is the flaw. We talk about the severity. There's something that's called critical. These are the worst security flaws that the browser can have. Usually when it's critical, it means that somebody out there is already exploiting it. High severity, they're bad security flaws. They can easily be exploited but no one knows about them yet, which means there's no one exploiting them from their knowledge. And then there's the moderate level uh, or the low level, which are more difficult and often requires to have access to your PC directly. Now, let's play a scenario where you would have a critical security flaw. What are the chances of you getting malware or getting some hacker exploit your PC from such a flaw. Well, that depends on where you go on the internet also. A critical flaw, if you would go to a known important website all the time, you, um, and that is secure and that you know is well maintained, that's not where a security flaw will be exploited, whether it's critical or high. Because for the most part, these websites are checked to make sure that they're always secure when you go there. Where it's a little less, um, a little more problematic for that is on websites that are maintained by um, either users themselves. You know, a lot of websites that are up there are maintained by users that will use WordPress websites, for example. And uh, when, you know, done right, they are secure, but they're not as secure as some of the major websites you'll go to. And we hear very often, and you might have heard, that there are um, sometimes security flaws within WordPress that need to be fixed because they can exploit, the bad guys can exploit the website. So this is where it gets more complicated. If you tend to go to, you know, I don't know, Haunty's recipes for the day and uh, because you like the recipes she has online, those are often websites that are less well-maintained than others. And those are the ones that often the hackers will try to go to. And those are the more dangerous ones when you have a browser that's not secure because that's where you might get bitten. For example, I remember one uh, example as a tech guy where um, a, 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 a client of mine was going to a website which had car mechanics stuff. He was a big, big fan of cars and, and the mechanics behind them. The website was a legitimate website. It was maintained by uh, a, 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 an auto mechanic guy that loved to share his passion for cars and mechanics. The problem is, is the website itself was not well maintained. So he actually did get an infection through that website uh, simply because the website had a um, malware on it that could exploit a flaw and be driven to your PC. And once again, forget your antivirus. When security flaws exist, your antivirus will not stop anything. So what happens next is that that's where you need to have your, your browser always in top shape with the security updates. 
uh, because that's how they can be exploited. And the last but not least thing that could happen, if you man manually type URLs in the address bar, <coughs> one of the common ways that hackers are trying to get you is to create a website, a malicious website, that is using a URL that's extremely close, but that is always misspelled. So for example, people go on google.com. Well, sometimes you might have a problem or you might not write it right, and you put goggle, G, you, one O is missing. Well, a hacker could technically get the goggle website or domain, put a malicious website on it, and exploit the security flaws that the browser might have if you're not up to date. So that's another way it happens, and it happens several times. That's why a lot of these big companies will buy any variant around their name because they know that a misspelled URL can bring you to a bad website. So they often will try to keep what's around it safe by just purchasing all the, U the uh, domain names that are very similar. So it is important to keep your browser safe for that reason. The main big websites are probably not a problem, but it's when you go to websites that, you know, the hosting and maintaining the security is not as good as others where your security flaws can get exploited. And that's why it is extremely important for your browsers to be up to date because it's your first line of defense against that. And remember that um, most malware come from email today still, but the second vector is, of course, doing bad things. And if you go to illegal websites, that's where a lot of security flaws can be exploited also. And that's why you say it all the time. You are your security, not your antivirus. If you enjoy your videos, my videos, <laughs> please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.